School is just back in session, but we've already received our first report card data by the National Center for Education, which shows test scores have hit historic lows and experts say the pandemic is to blame. Despite the fact that kids suffered the least serious COVID related symptoms, they suffered the greatest under COVID related restrictions and requirements. According to the nation's report card, since spring of 2019, students' math scores have dropped seven points, marking a first-ever decline, and reading scores going down five points, producing the largest dip in 30 years. Drastic setbacks for the nation's education system, as students' test scores are now on par with statistics from nearly two decades ago. Anybody who's been paying attention knows that the remote learning and the COVID years were not good for student achievement and they were especially difficult for those that were on remote learning. Mark Laurie is the superintendent of Niagara Falls City School District. He says while all students have been impacted, some demographics have been hit harder than others. The black and Hispanic community uh, were the ones that really were um, more apt to be on remote learning. There was uh, a lot of um, concern in those communities about the disease, a lot of sometimes misinformation, a lot of lack of communication to those uh, populations about the disease. The report shows black and Hispanic students saw the most significant drops of 13 and 8 percent compared to 5 percent for white students. However, decreases were more uniform in reading, falling six percentage points for all three populations. Drops that some educators like Andrew Jenko, fourth grade teacher at St. Joseph's University School in Buffalo, say don't tell the whole story. One test can't really say how education is. Education isn't at its worst in 20 years, it's one test. And I guess we really have to wait and see over the next five years to see if things jump back up. A jump that school leaders believe will come at each student's own pace. And what we're looking for is continuous growth. Growth from where you're at to where you need to be. And we'll get there, we will get there, but it's about day to day growth. Working from students are now, not from where they need to be. That's the overarching theme I learned from my conversations and something the Erie Niagara School Superintendent's president says they're already working on by hiring more staff to give students the extra support they need. In the studio tonight, Andy Payton, Channel 2 News.